Hello friends, greetings, welcome to how to VLAN channel, this is DBA VLAN stream. Today in this video, we are going to get started with Oracle RDBMS 23C. I have no other choice because 23C is not yet released, so we are going to start with 23C free, which is kind of a replacement for the Express Edition and uh, the XE database, which Oracle offered for free before they call now the term free itself for this particular release so i think xe is replaced by 23c now 23c free now so um, what are we going to talk about this in this uh, uh, video we're going to talk about how to download this uh, 23c free and how to deploy it in your lab because you cannot maybe you can use it in your live system if your application is very small but um, I am going to use this only for uh, getting to know about 23C only features, new features and so on. Say for instance how the AWR will look and um, what other additional fu SQL functionalities they are offering. So all that I am going to explore. For that I need a test bed and that test bed is going to be this uh, this particular download that I am going to talk about. So first as usual what are we going to do to do in our lab today? We are going to see how to download and start 23C. That's the objective. Step 0, which is nothing but we want to get to know about 23C first. So where do we go and read about it? So you can go to this Oracle documentation, which talks about 23C. And you see this in this page, you have everything Oracle database 23C and uh, learn about Oracle database, what's new in 23C, and then the installation guide. So here, here you have the information about the installation. Just go in here and then you will get to know all this. All right. So 23C is the next long-term release for Oracle. It's already 2024. Ideally, Oracle should have released 23C in the month of March 2023, or at least in the Oracle open world but it is not yet released for the production environment. So that this is, I mean, when, in, when I say production environment, for at least for the on-prem. So this is what I know, and because I've been waiting for 23C for a long time now, at least a year over, and I have been upgrading many of my databases to 19C still, so in on-prem. Have I had an opportunity, I would have upgraded them to 23C itself directly because this is an extra long-term release for Oracle and you may have uh, support until 2027 or something like that. So that would be a strategic decision. But now I have no choice, so I have to stick to 19C. So so it's not yet released. So we have to, but anyway, learn about 23C. So I don't want to delay it anymore. So uh, I want to start it today. So this is uh, the URL where you can read about the various documents of Oracle 23C. Oracle did a pretty decent job. It's not a very detailed document normally you get with uh, Oracle releases. This, if you read, you don't, you wouldn't, it wouldn't take you much uh, longer than, say, a day or two because it's a very small document. You can see here, Oracle is moving from 21C Express Edition to 23C Free. Here you will see this, how to export and how to move forward and why 23C free edition and so on. So anyway, so we'll get started and I just will show you for the next one, how to download, yeah? So the next next step is how to download this 23C, which we are talking about. Go in here, just type 23C. You have an option for container registry and then you have a OVA, I'm choosing OVA. And you have an option for downloading an RPM as well, which you can download and then deploy it in your Oracle Linux version 8. I think you will be able to do it in RHL compatible binary as well. But I am not, I am differing from this. The reason is um, I am not a fan of RPM deployments because it, I am not a fan of RPM deployment, but this is how Oracle is now making this as a kind of a strategic move. But I'll talk about this in, in another video why I don't prefer. So I want to have a control. So 
that's the reason i don't prefer this even 19c also has an rpm based deployment and then this uh, option I, i choose for my lab because it comes pre packed with everything including the os i wanted to try 23c in uh, rhl9 but um, i guess there is a particular package there is a particular patch version you need to stay on and our class not released that it recently 19c was available in rhl9 they made it uh, certified in rhl9 but i don't think 23c is it to is to be certified is it to be certified in rhl9 i guess it is still certified in rhl8 only All right anyway let's go back to our discussion so you click on this and you'll get the binary downloader like this it is around 6.8 gb so this is the oracle database 23c free developer appliance this is what you get all right and uh, so i just wanted to call out an important restrictions that you will get uh, you see here oracle database free cpu limitations i just zoom it a bit you have the same set of limitations as you get with the express edition that it is limited to two cores even if you have multi cores it will run, database will run on only two cores because they i think they put a cpu count restriction on the init parameter or somewhere i don't know how they are restricting it but uh, oracle itself has a init parameter called the cpu underscore count which you, you can set it to, to which is called cpu caging and then um, you will i think uh, yeah you cannot run more than one uh, if you have more power on the machine and uh, you may think that i can capitalize on multiple oracle free deployment on the same ovm oracle does not allow that you can see here single instance violation error you will have such an error and the uh, and then you have database size cannot exceed 12 gb so these are the limitations and 2 gb ram so ideally what it means is you have a limitation of two cpus so two cpu <coughs> two gb ram and 12 gb data size and single instance in some in short you cannot violate this you can have i guess you can have multiple vms and then multiple ovm deployments but not on the single vm you cannot have more than one uh, oracle 23c deployed all right let's get go let's get going download we saw now we want to import this now isn't it import the ova into the virtual box already got the virtual machine all open so let me go ahead and uh, import uh, plans all right so let's go in here arc 23c free developer request that you agree to the terms and conditions i think uh, fine let's see if it is importing yeah you can see here it's importing the appliance it may take a minute let's give it a bit bit, bit of time I just wish I don't run out of disk space because when it imports it, it will decompress it as well. Right, it's six o'clock now. Yeah, it's pretty fast. While we do that, so this is in progress now, and then uh, we'll verify the port forwarding and so on, and then uh, start the VM. and i access the db these are our next steps please feel free to provide your valuable feedbacks or comments about uh, what you are expecting in 23c and uh, what new features of 23c attracts you most maybe i will use that to put out a video for you in case you want so yeah let's pause here for a minute and then uh, once the import is done i'll I'll walk you through the next steps. All right. 
So the OVA import is finished now. So we will be we are importing the OVA and it is done now. You can see my machine is here and it's still powered off. Like I told you, see the size of the disk is 30, 30 GB. I really ran short of disk space. You can see here. It was 25 GB before, now it has only 11 GB. So it was 6, 7 GB it was showing up. So 14 GB or something like that it consumed already. So let me just go through the machine configuration first. I'll directly go into the network. How many adapters? Only one adapter. That's NAT, I expected. And uh, oh, good, they have so many ports forwarded. Right, host IP would be 127.0.0.1 or whatever IP it is. Uh, right, so they used uh, triple four twos to forward the guest port to 22. So they have ORDS. Okay, this is used for. Uh, RESTful services, I think. So these are the port numbers, which uh, you can see Oracle Apex also they deployed very good in this uh, 23C free edition. So you get Apex by default, default build, which is a good news for you. You can build applications as well in case you are interested. It, because it's a, it, I mean, building application in Apex is very fast and quick. So turnkey applications, which don't have a lot of time for the normal uh, software lifecycle development model, where it takes a bit of time, SDLC to follow. Instead of that, you can use Apex to create applications very quickly. So it's an invalid. Right, so that's the Apex fine. I'm not going to use virtual machine display anyway. It's good that I verified the NAT ports. So again, I show you, I am very interested only on this SSH port. The rest all are okay. I'm not going to connect from SQL developer in my local to this database. So I'm least bothered about this 152 or 9090. Maybe this Apex port will be interesting. So rest all are good. Okay, so, so Oracle by themselves. Uh, so this is coming by default. Right. So let's skip, start the VM and see how it looks. Okay guys, so we are starting 23C now. Let's see. Yeah, we need to know what the password of the machine is, isn't it? For the Oracle user. I'm sure they would have locked the root user account. Let's see, what, what's the default password or something. It's a bit too low. Let's give it a minute. I have used uh, such a OVA from Oracle for 12C. Then in 12C was it released for the first time. So I think it opened already. Yeah, it's already open. I'm already into the terminal. The first thing I will do is reset the password. So.
is one prefer using GUI. Hmm, good. I know what the password is now. Let's connect to this port. Good. We are connected through SSH itself. Let's see how does it look. Yeah. Okay. This is a good improvement, guys. All right. The first impression. Looking at this PMO. You see here, earlier Oracle used to have Vora underscore. And now they changed it to DB. I mean, very from the... I don't know when Oracle changed the ASM's convention. Oracle used to put ASM underscore PMO for ASM. So the name of the instance is free. So this is how it looks. How many processes are running for Oracle? Right, so this is some new process, I think. And then uh, we have VOST, something new I haven't seen before. Right, so you see this many processes. I see this is looking like new, this is looking like new. This is looking like new to me, but maybe you can come at me if it is already there in 19C. <coughs> um, right. Yeah, several new processes are running. Maybe they are part of container as well. I haven't worked on container yet a lot. Maybe this is a container create daemon, no, multi-tenancy daemon. So. Anyway, I have something to explore. Let's connect to the DB. Well, nothing is said. It's my. This is the first thing I want to check. This is not said. So uh, this is not set yet. Now we can see everything is set. See here, the deployment method itself has changed. This is because of RPM deployment or so, I think. The Oracle Home. Hmm. Let's see if it allows me here. All right, this is allowed in here. Huh? But, uh, hmm, fine. My password file is here. Is not trusting this root as db anymore. Mm. It's nice to know. Okay. How does the alert log looks? <clears throat> Let me back up this password file. I'm sure our class kept a method <clears throat> to work around this.
All right, let's put out some password for this. Don't have to be even access the DB is the last challenge. Should do one. We are in grip. We are connected to the DB. It's a container database. There is only one PDB, which is free PDB. There is no, it is interesting to know that there is no C database they're supplying. The read only database. <clears throat> this is the only database you have. It's limit uh, and containers. Let's create a P file out of this. Let's create a P file and then let's move on. We access the DB. Our goal is done now. So I just want to see what all you have. There is only one. How come? Anyway, we access the DB. It's done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Furthermore, I don't want to prolong this video. So in case you have any questions, feel please, please feel free to comment. And thanks for joining with me today. Thank you. Bye. Bye.